Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Now the most notable features on the Limited is its 360 degree backup camera, its parking sensors as well as its navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then if we take a closer look just at your front bumper, you'll see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now on your mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for your 360 degree backup camera. Foldable mirrors, vortex generators, and if we take a look on the inside of the mirrors here, you'll find your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. Up top you'll see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray metallic. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls, lane departure alert, heated steering wheel, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, window locks, power locks and window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, Bluetooth, mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display, you have your cruise control, and then the other nice thing is you have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here. So as you can see, you have your trip info on here and then if you take a look at the top of the screen there you'll see your exterior temperature gauge. You can also go through your range with a distance to empty I should say, eco indicator, all wheel drive indicator and a sway warning but you can also take a look at your navigation, audio, lane departure alert and messages and then your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system as well as your blind spot monitoring on and off and your parking sensors on and off with a couple of other additional features. Now taking a closer look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here, which include your hazard lights, you have your traction control on and off, and then if we head inside the apps menu, you'll see your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. You also have that premium JBL sound system, dual zone climate control settings, and down below you'll find your eco and sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger window wiper de-ice or USB and auxiliary and your two power outlets. Now it's matted to a automatic transmission and if we take a look now just at the very top you'll see that auto dimming rear view mirror with a garage door opener and digital compass and at the very top here you'll see your open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof just for those days when it's quite bright outside. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you the backup camera. So as you can see you have that nice backup camera view as well as that aerial view for your 360 degree backup camera. Now you also have the guiding lines on there so as you can see when you actually turn the steering wheel the guiding lines will actually show you while you're, uh, sorry, show you where you'll end up when uh, you turn the steering wheel in uh, whichever direction you decide. Now you can also change up the line segments on there in case you don't want to have it on there. You also can change the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or to the, your traditional backup camera view itself. Now when I put it into drive and I press the button that's just actually located beside the hazard lights here, you'll actually get that front view of the vehicle. So if you're in a parkade and you need to see exactly how much room there is between you and the wall, this definitely comes in handy. Now you can also keep it on auto so that auto feature will actually keep that front view of the vehicle on up to 10 kilometers an hour. After that it will switch over to the screen you were on previously. Now if you press this button again it'll actually give you that nice 360 degree view and if you push the button down below you can actually have a more aerial view of the vehicle just to see your surroundings just in case uh, your kids like to leave their uh, toys in the uh, driveway just before you're going to work.
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. Located on the back of the tailgate, you'll find the back of camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. But the nice thing is you do have the cargo net in the back here so if you have smaller items you can just place them inside the cargo net. And then you also have the tonneau cover in here as well. So with the tonneau cover if you want to cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place you can use it this way. If you do require the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat as well. And if we take a look just underneath the floor, you'll see your spare tire as well as your jack and your tool kit. But the nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So in case you're hauling some cargo and you need your tonneau cover afterwards, you can just take it out underneath the floor afterwards. The other thing I like is that you do have that power adjustable tailgate, so in the event that you need to readjust the height for yourself, Hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the height for you. However, if you need to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height for you. Now, the usefulness with that power tailgate is if you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags, all you have to do is push on the button once, and it will close for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.